Bradley there has been a pro since 1990. He's been around the block. 36 years old, but still highly rated. The pundits, both in Britain and in the United States, they know that Oliveira is a class operator and that he's still got something left in the tank. Hatton started well. Oliveira beat Vince Phillips, a Hatton opponent a few years ago. Lost a close decision to Ben Tacky. And Hatton just looks too fast. Never mind the power, he's outspeeding his man in this opening period. Best win on Oliveira's record. Victory over Vivian Harris. That was four years ago. Hatton needs to win this one impressively to show once again that he deserves to be ranked right at the top of the sport all the time. Hatton, of course, trying to show... Oh, and he didn't like that one. Mickey Van, the referee, had said break and stern words of admonishment for Ray Oliveira. Hatton knows that he needs to look good. Young Amir Khan among the interested observers at ringside. Oh, good shot from Hatton. Right hand, more of a flash knockdown than anything else. Oliveira, the old pro, is taking the count on his knee. Oh, what a great start from Hatton. Amir Khan, the Olympic silver medalist, seeing just how good Hatton is. <laughs> oh, and Hatton starting to unload on Oliveira. Making it into a real rough house sort of tournament. And it was the ticking off that time for Hatton, using the flat of the glove to push Oliveira back through the ropes. Nice little uppercut inside from Hatton. Good variety. Bit of a predictability about Oliveira's work. Another round to Hatton. In the fifth. Attritional stuff from Ricky Hatton. He loves it when he can just get into the trenches there and really see the eyeballs of his opponent. Oh, good work again. Right hand followed to, by two real purposeful hooks and there was a low one went in from Oliveira. I think that was tit for tat. I think that he felt that Hatton had hit him low as well. Mickey Van, the referee, adopting something of a laissez-faire attitude. Good uppercut from Hatton. He had to ship one to get into range, but when he got there... Good work inside from the champion. A really good purposeful right hook again. Blood smeared across the back of Ricky Hatton. It's an uncompromising sort of fight, this one. Oliveira, a little bit of damage around the left eye. Mickey Van, the referee, has been a busy man tonight. 
Oh, another one from Oliveira on the blind side of the ref. Looked very much on the low side to me. But the American from Massachusetts gets away with it. Atten's going looking for that damaged eye of Oliveira. See him aiming damaging right hands towards the injury. Good boxing skills from Hatton. Showed in the left hand and then clubbed his way in behind the right. Tough round and that eye is starting to cause problems. Tenth round and Oliveira's complaining. Whenever you see a fighter start to do that, you suspect that he is beginning to look for a way out. And Oliveira complaining about some of Hatton's work. And Hatton senses it. Oliveira's corner have done a decent job with that injured left eye. But Hatton's got a big points advantage now, surely. But that is if it goes the distance. Hatton has ideas of his own. He's still thundering home purposeful body shots. Great uppercut. And Oliveira is going into survival mode. If Hatton finds a way, if he can find a way to finish this man, that would be a very impressive performance indeed from Ricky Hatton. The London crowd has warmed to him. And Hatton has got him down. Oliveira doesn't look as though he wants any more of this. He's blinking, I think his ear has been damaged by that shot. The eye, once again, is seeping blood and the fight is all over. What do we think about that? That was impressive. Win number 38. Next stop, maybe Costa Zoo. Hatton celebrates as well he might. Great finish. Oliveira had been complaining at the beginning of that 10th round. And there where the end came, I suspect his left ear may have been damaged as well as the eye, and Hatton wins again. If ever Hatton needed to remind the boxing world that he was ready for the big time, this was it. And the hitman passed his final examination with flying colours. Now came Costa Zoo.